Hey guys, Ivan here and we're gonna start this video with an update of Hari Chupan at 2 months or about 8 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. This was reposted by Bodybuilders Without Borders, an Instagram page, very very good Instagram page, reliable source of information. They reposted it from this Iranian Instagram page or bodybuilding magazine, Motion magazine. It's a good page as well, it has quarter of a million followers, so I guess when they say this is two months out, we can believe it. Even though Hadi didn't post it, I'm pretty sure that's true. Though I did translate this on Google Translate and it didn't really say that exactly, this is what it says. Beautiful photo of Iranian Olympia champion, dear Hadi will perform on the Olympia stage for about two more months. So the translation on Google Translate doesn't really say that this was taken at two, at two months out of Mr. Olympia, only that uh, Hari is a great bodybuilder and that he's gonna be competing in two months, that is true, but maybe Google Translate is not exactly accurate and the admin of this page knows somebody or he himself speaks Iranian so he translated it better than Google can do and it actually means that he's two months out, I don't know, uh, I'm not sure, but they said it here, so I'm sharing the news with you guys, but I'm hoping this is true, because he looks good here. I mean, this is how I would imagine him to look at two months out. He looks big, he looks pretty lean, he looks like he needs to like just work on final details uh, in, the, in these two months, and basically he's ready. He could be ready on the stage in like a, a week or two, basically, but these guys, they take longer time to prep, you know, they are probably in a little bit, in a, in a tiny, 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 small deficit, and uh, they, they work their way slowly uh, to be ready to compete at the Mr. Olympia stage. So, Hardy right here, looks big, he looks conditioned. That side leg still looks a little bit smaller, I would prefer to see bigger hamstrings, though his arms look bigger. I'm assuming he had a nice arm workout to pump his arms up for this photo shoot, uh, because, yeah, his arms are a little bit weaker uh, genetically, that's his weak body part, but overall, he has all the size, he has the maturity, he has everything, basically, to even win the Mr. Olympia. I'm really curious what Nick Walker is gonna look like at this Arnold Classic, and then I would like to see him compared to Hadi Chupan, because both of these guys have this kind of squarish, blocky physique, and they are both known for maturity and granity, grainy look. You know, they both have those deep cuts, deep separation, alive muscle, so with that conditioning and with that kind of mass as well that they're carrying on their frames, it's gonna be a good mashup. I would love to see these two guys compared. And uh, I don't know, I mean, you guys, I mean, look at Nick right here. And you tell me, how well will he do at the Iron Classic at the Mr. Olympia? Because <laughs> we still haven't seen him compared to the top guys. Can he win Arnold Classic? Can he win Mr. Olympia? He says he will do that. And honestly, I don't really have a lot of trouble believing that. I could be entirely wrong, he could be like top 10 at the Mr. Olympia. That would be pretty disappointing, but let's wait and see. Right now, Nick, right here in this photo, in this post that was posted a day ago, he says, at the moments I live for, 7 and 8. What does that mean, 7 and 8? 7 weeks out of Iron Classic and 9 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and right now he looks insane, he looks better then he looked seven weeks out of New York Pro. Look at the, the maturity that he's gaining like day after day. And every time you see this guy, he looks so much better. And you can only imagine what he's going to look like in a couple of years. If everything goes well for him, I could see him win the Mr. Olympia. Not the prettiest structure, shorter legs, blockier waist. There are some flaws, but everybody has flaws. Nobody's perfect. As far as muscular development and conditioning standpoint, he is perfect in that regard, for sure. The structure is the only thing that can hurt him, but I don't know. Right now, he looks amazing, and we'll see him in seven weeks at the Arnold Classic, and then in nine weeks at the Mr. Olympia, and it's gonna be a very, very interesting mashup, him versus Hari Chupan, and him versus Big Remy, versus... Bonac, the Arnold Classic, actually, versus Ian Valier, they're friends, um, Nick versus Rolly, if Rolly makes it to the Mr. Olympia, Nick versus Hunter, Nick versus maybe Phil Heath, I don't know who else is gonna be competing, actually, but it's gonna be an amazing Mr. Olympia this year, it's gonna be one of the best Mr. Olympias in a long time, in a long time, I'm telling you that, guys. Classic physique is not gonna be a joke either, uh, even though the champion is pretty much set in place, 
it's probably going to be Chris Bumstead winning it again. I mean, most likely, very, very likely. But uh, it's going to be a good addition of Chris Bumstead. I think he's going to be better this year. And this is his most recent physique update. So if you compare this one to this one, you're going to notice how much his tan got better. Just joking, of course, he lost a lot of body fat. You can see it in his lower belly. You can see it basically all over the place. The chest, uh, the arms, the shoulders, he just in face as well. He does look uh, leaner, even though you might expect him to lose a little bit more fat in a month. It's been a month since he started, since this photo on the right was taken. But uh, yeah, I mean, he is leaner. Look at the vein on the bicep and basically the arms. And then lower belly especially, you can see another ab muscle right there showing, starting to show on the photo on the left, on the new photo. And there is none of that happening on the older photo. So definitely leaner for sure. He knows what he's doing. He started his prep on time. He still has a lot of time until Mr. Olympia. So he will drop the hammer in the, in the later phases. But basically in this new post, he didn't just post this to show us his physique, but he said something interesting. He said that uh, ever since he realized he has that autoimmune system disease, he was never really able to have a, a, a junk food, you know, a, a cheat meal in the evening and not to wake up in the morning looking bloated, watery uh, and all kinds of messed up because of that. He just couldn't mess up his uh, sodium and potassium balance uh, because his kidneys aren't really functioning in the best way if I'm understanding this right. Doesn't really matter. What is the point here is that he had a cheat meal and in the morning he woke up looking harder, not watery. So, and he says he's always anxious when he does that because of the problem and now it happened that he had no issues for the first time in a long time. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because there was that possibility that Chris is going to mess up his conditioning a couple of days before the Mr. Olympia because you never know with that autoimmune system disease it can flare up anytime, especially in those uh, the most stressful days before this show. So now, knowing that he can handle a cheat meal and not have water retention, which hasn't happened in a long time, it probably makes him feel more comfortable, less anxious, and that is just an advantage, another advantage for Chris Bumstead. Hopefully everything will run smoothly and he will have no issues until Mr. Olympia and we will see the best version of C-Bum ever. Guys, can somebody explain this to me? Why is Derek Lansford this big 9 weeks out of Mr. Olympia? Is there really a chance he can actually trim down and, you know, fit into 212? Come on, he doesn't look like a 212 guy. He looks bigger than most open guys right now. Come on, guys, what the hell is this? Look at this <laughs> density. Look at the lower legs, look at the glutes, the hem look at the back and the shoulders and the arms. This guy is one of the biggest guys in the IBB right now, I mean, pound for pound. How the hell can he fit in 212? I don't get it. He looks bigger than Hadi Chupan right now. He didn't announce anything. I think he even talked about doing the 212. But I don't see... I, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't... Look at this. Look at the mass. Wow. I honestly believe he will do the open. This guy has no flaws, basically. Flaws? Everything is super crazy impressive. What flaws? He looks outstanding, he looks enormous, and the waist looks tiny, and there is a really, really good vacuum. Look at this freaking vacuum. For a guy of his size, do you ever see something like this? I don't know, man. His personality, though, super fake, I don't like it at all. <laughs> but physique, physique looks amazing. And look at the V taper, god, he looks so, so impressive. I think the reason why he can't win 212 is because he needs to diet down too much and just just lose the, the, the spark, you know, lose, lose that wow factor when he trims down. And also has a big disadvantage, it's his upper, upper shoulder and upper chest area where he's really soft at. That's something he cannot really change, but in all the other poses, when you cannot really see that, other than like most muscular, everything else just looks super impressive. Especially now in the offseason, and he looks to be in an, in an amazing shape. He doesn't have to trim down too much, so I would definitely go with the open if I was him. I really hope he's gonna do it. I don't think he should go to 212. I don't know how much he's weighing, but he looks like at least 250. Maybe even 260. So he probably has to lose around 40 pounds. 
Do you see 40 pounds of fat and water on this frame? I do not. I think he's going to hurt himself if he does 212. I definitely believe he should go to the open. And I actually think he will do that. He's probably hiding it, won't announce it yet. He should definitely go for it. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Do you think he should go for 212 or the open? Come on, open, guys, come on. William Bonek. This photo was taken two weeks ago. So at two weeks ago, he looked pretty much so ready. How does he look right now? I don't know. It's gonna be very interesting to see him compared against uh, Nick Walker because these guys are, again, the same thing like with Hardy. Shorter, blockier, massive for their frame. And also, Bonak and Nick had sort of a beef, if you wanna call it that. So I'm really curious to see that. I'm really interested in can Nick Walker actually take Bonak out because Bonak does look really amazing right here and he does have that maturity, you know? Especially when he dies down, when he is shredded, it's just a mature, mature physique. So it's gonna be interesting seeing like old versus new school of bodybuilders and see how these guys will fare against one another. Bonek is a defending champion. He's two times Arnold Classic champion going for the third. I would bet on him still, yes, based on seeing this photo, I would bet on him. The previous photos didn't really look that impressive, but this one kind of tells me that he has the biggest chances of actually winning this show, but uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if somebody took him out. Now, I don't think it's gonna be Rolly. Rolly is a shadow of himself at this point. It could be Nick Walker, but that's like a big surprise. You cannot really bet on that. We haven't seen them compared. But uh, anyways, William Bonek in this back double bicep here looks absolutely amazing, really thick, really big. It seems like he got most of the size back. Uh, he kind of started fading the past couple of, uh, let's say, years or couple of shows, but uh, I, I am expecting him to be either worse at the Arnold Classic or better. Him taking an off-season this year can actually mean an improvement. We'll see whether he's gonna improve or not, but right now he does look great at 10 weeks out of... Actually, this is not right now, but it is 10 weeks out of uh, Arnold Classic. He does look pretty freaking impressive. And for the end, real quick, Phil Wiz, the coach of uh, Steve Lorius, basically made a post in which he is saying why Steve was off. And as I told you guys before, Steve replied to my comment and this is basically what he said, the same things that uh, Phil is saying. It's the problem with the peak week, he had a lot of stress coming into the show, uh, Phil didn't really know his body that well, and now he realized a couple of things, such as that Steve's body likes junkier food to carb up, he needs a little bit more time because his stomach is really tiny, and basically you can read the whole text, but what he's saying pretty much is that it was a peak week mistake, he was lean enough, and that they are doing taxes, and that they are going to be much better in that show. So we're gonna see what uh, what Steve is gonna bring to Texas, I hope he's gonna be shredded finally, and that he will qualify for the Mr. Olympia, and then do some damage over there. And that's gonna do it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video guys, please like it, and if you wanna see more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel guys, all the best and bye bye.